What's up, ladies and gents? Sinistrain01, your host, and welcome back to more Cyberpunk 2077. This is our very hard walkthrough, and we're going to continue on here, except this time we're going to be doing a few side missions in this just to get ourselves up, uh, leveled up a little bit more. So the first one that we're going to kind of head our way over to is, um, I believe it's called The Gig. Well, actually, not The Gig, sorry. It's called The Gift. So we're going to track this job. It's uh, ret retrieve the pin... The ping quick hack from the net runner. Doing these side missions, I think, are really going to help you out uh, later on because uh, you just want to be as high powered as you can. found the last honest cop in this city. Her name's Anna Hamill, and whatever she's investigating, it's made her a lot of enemies. She'd do best to cut it out if you catch my drift. Uh, okay, look, I know how it sounds, but somebody would have taken this gig delivery? anyway, right? Two days. I don't know. Maybe there's an angle you can play here. I guess. Either way, info's attached. All right, looks like we picked up a new job, a gun for hire, so let's check out the message. She's an NCPD police officer who's doing her job, but people are after her, so it is our goal to try to stop her from doing what she's doing, maybe so that she doesn't end up getting killed. It says that her colleagues are the ones that are against her, okay? And that's what she looks like. So we're tracking the job. And here we are in the location, and we just need to talk to some of the... Uh, Civilians down here. What do you expect? This is Kabuki, not North Oak. What do you know about Kabuki, dirty nomad? Come on, I don't need this. Just uh, toss in an anti-whiff tablet for this man. Fifteen percent off, or I will not buy. <sighs> and they call nomads thieves. Fine, fine. You got the deal. This tragic incident, which some ultimately attribute to Arasaka's wanton imperialist... These shrimp fresh. They just arrived, straight from the best aqua farm in Night City. Aqua farm. Where do you think? From Pacifica? That trash from the sea no good, make you sick. Due to the use of potent neurotoxins, Ever seen this woman? To urge to stay clear of storm drains and sewer I sell food and and I just want to keep selling food. That is all I will say. Alright, so we know that she's in the area somewhere, obviously. All in good through all of NC can't be the safest of jobs. You ever run into any trouble? If you're trying to sell me protection, take it the fuck elsewhere. Already got Takeshi. Bizarre's his. Sue me for being curious. Sure. Whatever. Know this woman? 30-something, slightly shorter than yourself. Heard she comes around here a lot. <laughs> this is Kabuki. We get a lot of people. And smart asses? A lot of them, too? Yeah, smart asses, too. Smart asses who could recognize a cop's face? So, how about it? You know her? I might. Depends on how much you'll be spending on your uh, groceries today. Alright, so if you want to find out, it would cost us 600. E wow. Not getting any Eddies out of me. Dude, whatever then. Yeah, that's. Almost fell over. Seems a little uh, expensive. Okay. Hey there, baby. I can give you what no brain dance ever could. You don't mean true love? Ha ha. You want me to giggle like a cheerleader? It'll cost you. Seen her around? Depends. 
You a cop? Nope. The lady I'm looking for is... That tooth-faced bitch. You want a confession out of me? It's gonna cost you. I don't do nothing for free. Ah, another one. Wow. No way. Hmm, whatever. Nowhere to find me. And the only reason I say not to pay is because... I mean, that's a lot of, uh, that's a lot of eddies for a game that doesn't hand them out to you... ...a lot. You know what I mean? Let's try another one. Oh, yeah. You're half man, half mega block. Not often I see a ripper invest in a Ganic body like that. Most people don't realize the brain functions better when it's tied to real, not synthetic musculature. Replace even a single hand, and you'll notice a dip in concentration and overall well being. Cyberware is more harm than help. Not great marketing for a ripper, Doc. Nope. But I don't slow biz from chromers like you. You know her? No. You didn't even look. No need. Don't know her. All right, everyone is pretty much being um, non forthcoming. We know she's got to be somewhere around in here, so let's check maybe up on top. Seems like if you want to get inside, you have to pay some eddies, and we don't want to do that. Could always be worse. Seems like if we want to get inside there, we need one more tech ability, which we do have a point to spend. I see a green door there. And a place for us to walk across. We've got to jump over that. There you go. Anna Hamill, patrol officer. Drop this investigation. It's in your best interest. That a threat? I'd remind you, you're the one in the fucking crosshairs. Hey, easy. I just want to help. Help? Phonic implant must be fried. I think you men intimidate. Just to end your investigation. Really pissed off the wrong people. Which people? Tell me what fucking people! Your buddies at the NCPD set you up. Fucking. I knew it! Robert Kowalski and Bill Adams! Motherfuckers! Let it go. It's not worth it. Yeah. Know what? I'm not letting scumbags get me killed! Fuck them! Fuck this job! Fuck this city! So, Anna, what's next for you? What? We choons all of a sudden? The hell do you care? I dropped the case like you wanted. You can fuck off, Merc. Okay, mission complete. Wow. I'll leave you to your business. You leave us to ours. That was actually pretty interesting. Hope you don't mind that I check out your computer real quick.
And of course, you probably could have just got into a huge fight if that's was what you were going for, but the game gives you plenty of options to uh, choose a different path, and obviously we are always going to find the different path. Alright, so now we know that we're already in the area. Let's answer this call. Lee of the Silver Tongue, eh? Glad we got it all worked out. Contract closed. Got some more street cred. We're gonna go ahead and set our next mission, which is the one that we were originally going for before we got uh, in the way which is called The Gift. How's this work? Any punk off the street can waltz in here? Grab some shady running soft? No. Not just any punk. Over the counter, we fix cyber decks. But if you come recommended and you know what you are looking for, I'm sure you will find it. T-Bug sent me. Said you'd have something for me. You're V, right? She had me hold the demon for you. It should work on any third gen deck. Got a Militech power line. Think it'll do. Mm. Solid gear. For a beginner. Okay. Glad to grab a demon, always. You could test it now. I have an access point. If you'd like, that is. You might extract some shimsoft or subroutines. Seems worth a try, either way. All right, so this is what we need to pick up, the ping. The ping is actually really important. It only lasts for a certain amount of seconds, but it will pretty much reveal any uh, devices that are connected to that specific area network. Let's say if you do a camera, it's going to find anything that's connected to that camera. If you do uh, a person, it's going to find any person that is connected to that person's network if they're jacked in together. So it's a, it comes in, comes in handy. And we can test it out right here. So you're always going to see me save quite a bit. We're always going to be using the quick save just to make sure that I can show you guys the best route and best path for every single mission. So we've got uh, camera control, all that stuff. Notice how there is no um, ping. In order to actually get the ping, you're going to need to put it in your inventory. So, it's not in your cyberware, I don't believe. Actually, it is. Yes, that's where it is. It's in your cyberware. So, right now, we have short circuit, which is a non-lethal uh, thing. We're going to change that out for that one. The other one is reboot optics. This allows you to be able to get by people so that uh, they're blind for a few seconds. Now, we can actually do it. So we can breach the protocol, so... And let me really, really try to kind of truly explain, and this is the only time that I'm going to do this, so you guys know 100% exactly what goes into the uh, the breaching and, and the hacking. So you have a sequence. Sometimes you'll have multiple sequences. If you, say, pick a sequence that's second or third in line, and you go straight for that one, then you can't get the other two. You need to go sequence from sequence to sequence. Hopefully that makes sense. First one up here is 55, right? It literally tells you where all of the 55 are when you hover over top of it. So you kind of get the path. You don't actually start 
the time until you do your first one. So if you plan before you go into it, you'll be able to do it a lot easier. Say for instance, 55. You see where all the 55s are. Notice the line that's going across and we can only pick the top line. So you have to pick from one of these. Let's say for instance, we picked E9, right? Notice the secondary line that goes down. As soon as we pick this one, then we have to pick one in this line. Whenever we pick that one, then we'll have to pick one in this line. And then it's gonna have to be one in the app. So think of it as a, um, what do you call it? Uh, the opposite of a circle or should I, counterclockwise. Think of it as counterclockwise. So if the first one is 55, I mean, we can already do it. It's so simple. You can do 55 here and then immediately you'll be able to do 55. Do you see how it follows left, then down, then and it just keeps going back in a big circle. So let's do it. And now it actually costs one less to do a ping, so. All right, so for this one, 1C55. There's where all the 55s are. And this one's pretty easy. Now, notice that there's a buffer of one, two, three, four, five. So when you have a long buffer like this, sometimes you might have to pick a wrong one before you can get to the sequence. But the first moment that you hit one C, the first moment you pick a one C, the next one afterwards has to 100% be 55. If you do not do that, you break the sequence and therefore you lose the hack. So you have to keep the sequence. I could do any number I want. I could do BD, E9, BD, but the next one, when there's only two slots left, would have to be 1C and 55. Same thing, you can do whatever numbers you want, but the moment you start 1C, the next has to be 55, all right? So in this case, if we were to do 1C here, there is no 55, which means we would fail if we were to try to do that. Now, let's say we did um, here, we'd have to pick E9, then we go down to 1C, then we would go to 55. Do you see how that works? And let's do it. And therefore, that is how you can do the hacking. Hopefully, if I explain it, uh, I've explained it good enough for all of you out there so you know exactly what you need to do and you'll be able to complete these tasks so we can get some really good hacks in. There you have it. I love the ray tracing. Look at that. Even though it's not really showing anybody, it's still really, really cool to see, you know, more and more features like ray tracing in video games. Makes things just look so crystal clear. Something's wrong. All right. This world is our oyster, and there are just so many things for you to do. It's such a fun game, and I think once they iron out all the bugs, especially on console, as you can see on PC, it runs very well. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm getting 60 frames in 4K, but I do have DLSS on. So there's still a little bit of optimization that can be had. But with that being said, it still runs very, very well, and it's a beautiful game. All right, so as you can see, we still haven't done our, our level up characters. It's just that I'm really trying to make sure that when I go into a situation that I do it the best I can. I, I wanna be as stealthy as possible, but at the same time, I wanna make sure that I have the best options. So I prefer to go into a mission first, learn it, then uh, make sure I have that save before, then go back in and then record it so that I can make this a pleasant experience for all of you and you can see exactly the best outcome uh, in the stealthiest manner. So that's the reason I haven't really upgraded anything yet. So don't fret, we're going to get into the upgrades as soon as we get to uh, the point where I feel like I really need to upgrade something in order for it to help us do something uh, later. But as far as whatever else we have, I mean there's a, still a lot of other things uh, that you can do. There's not technically a lot, you can't do the gig because of the fact that 
uh, there's a lockdown right now, so you'd have to wait for the lockdown, and I don't think you can do it in the prologue. This is still considered the prologue. Um, we can't do this one either, because it says take part in more fights after the Watson lockdown is lifted. Maybe you can still do some. I don't know if you can, but that last one was just a, a killer. It was very, very difficult to do. Um, but that's pretty much all we have right here. You could always go over to the map. And then you can get a full-on glimpse of everything that you see that lets you know question marks. And it tells you if there's if it's a danger area. There's a crime activity right there. I mean, there's all types of side things you can do to start building your street cred. And again, that is what it's all about. Um, is building that street cred to make yourself, you know, a little bit better. There is just, it's amazing how much stuff there is to do. I want to know what this is right there. Undiscovered. Who knows what you might find. Let's take a look. You can see that sun really just comes right through in this game. I don't know what this is, what it could be, but we're going to find out. So it's always a good point to go ahead and save, just in case. Hey! Hey, you! I gotta get to a Ripper, man! I... I'll pay you! Depends. What's wrong with you? You serious? You want my patient history, too? I just want to be sure it's no cyber psychosis or anything. No! It's a... Function. Happy? You helping me or what? All right. Great. Why are we standing here? <laughs> to the car now. <laughs> Satisfaction guaranteed. They said. Let me guess. Mr. Stud XCV-19 series. Yeah. How'd you know? I know my implants. Including the black market stuff. Faulty series. Got recalled. Still selling it on the street, though. Hey! <laughs> Listen! Thanks for not laughing at me. Appreciate it. <sighs> just our luck. Ah! Go! Just go! Mow him down! Chill, Jim. Be gone in a sec. Chill? You tell me to chill? It burns! Fuck, it burns! Chill. Doing what I can. What I said to my output. She didn't like that too much. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ! <laughs> you really gotta keep yelling like that. Do you even know how much it hurts? Like I'm screwing a goddamn pencil sharpener! Well, suffer in silence, Chum. Heard what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Real fucking funny. This might be the funniest side mission I've ever done in my life. Faster! Faster!
Okay, we're... Hey, you after! I'll call you! But... Uh. All NCPD subcons. APB out for suspect accused of organized crime activity near Ross Street and Shipyard Way. Scavengers led oh! by Yelena Sidorova, presumed armed and dangerous, like have assaulted multiple homeless persons. Night City officials are offering a reward for neutralizing the threat. I can't! I can't! Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Oh, I wanted to follow him in there. Dang. You can still hear him though. That is just too good. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like there's anything else I can do except for wait for a call. So I guess we'll drive around a little bit and see if he actually calls. If he doesn't, hopefully, you know, I'm, I'm recording by the time he actually calls back. I don't know what this is. Let's go to the map and see what it is. Side job, biz that won't make any major headlines. It says danger high, though. Wild screaming at Tone Tants isn't headline news. Could just be some screamo band set rehearsal. That or something a shade more sinister. Please try to keep them alive. For some reason, it says I have my pistol out, but I have my fists out, which is a little weird. I don't know why it's doing that, so you gotta actually go into there to apply your pistol. Oh, 
Ooh, it's expired, so that's why no one could actually help him out. All right, so this is a, an enemy that you literally cannot take out in a, uh, a stealthy manner whatsoever. So I just want to let you guys know that. And so we have to kind of change up our approach a little bit. So we're going to go guns blazing, right? We're not doing a no-death profile here. I've decided that that's not what we're going for. But I can't think of anything any other way. There's no way to actually stealth this character, which is unfortunate. Just don't get hit by him. Now you see how little damage that we're actually doing to this guy. Right? We're really not... We're really not doing all that damage. My suggestion is hit him with your fists. You actually do more damage with your fists. go and he's still alive ricochet weapons nice a machete Oops. read the shard brick and ellis I tried to, but it wouldn't, whatever, whatever reason. So I need to go to shards to read it. Hold on, what do they say? Read the shard conversation, Brick and Ellis, and Hoff and Sanders. Yes. Know all about Brick, okay? Brick and Royce are going to come into play in, like, one of the next missions. Now, I probably could have done that, obviously, a lot quicker. Send the information to Regina. Okay, so in order to do this, I believe you um, go into your phone, open messages, and then reply.
There you go. Oh, she sent a message too. Nice. As you can see, he's still alive, still breathing, because you get that little talk option, even though he can't really talk. But yeah, so we did it. Nice. Maybe not as smooth as I would have wanted it to, but uh, we did not kill him. It's a lot of bodies back here. Now, what I want to say is, first of all, we cool, right? Oh, we can't put the glasses on. We don't have enough street cred. Or we're not, we're not the right level yet. We need to be a level six. So we're getting there. We're getting there. We have lots of upgrading to do, especially for this next big mission coming up, which is, like I said, the main reason why I'm kind of waiting. Is I want to go into each situation feeling that uh, the outcomes that we get are based off of what the choices that we have made previously. Looks like the guy was bricks only devoted left. All his other followers turned out. Cut and have a millisec. I'm not sure he can be saved, but maybe we'll at least learn something new about the one onset of sight. Okay. Gotcha. All right, ladies and gents. I think that's going to do it. We did three side missions in this uh, video here. I do hope you all enjoyed. I don't want to run this person over. Sorry about that. Next up, we're going to actually meet up with Dex in the ride, and then we have a few more missions coming uh, as well. So hopefully you guys have been enjoying the walkthrough so far. We'll keep it coming strong, and of course, I will see you on the next video. Peace.